If I told you that Belgian and Danish streets are filled with waste, would you believe that? Yes, this is true, but not the way you imagine it. Belgium and Denmark treat their non-recyclable waste in waste-to-energy plants. These plants recover energy and secondary raw materials, including minerals that are used to build roads at a later time. This way, non-recyclable waste ends up in the streets, reducing the need to exploit virgin materials. Numerous other metals are recovered from the bottom ash, copper, iron, aluminum, steel. But how is this process linked with the mobility sector? In the Netherlands and France, the aluminum recovered from non-recyclable waste is used in automotive casting manufacturing. What about vehicles powered by non-recyclable waste? Waste-to-energy plants can generate hydrogen by converting part of the recovered electricity with an electrolyzer. Wuppertal's waste-to-energy plant, for instance, already powers 10 hydrogen buses. This saves the city up to 700 tons of CO2 per year. From the construction of roads and cars up to the generation of hydrogen, waste-to-energy plants are powerful allies to move towards greener transports. And that's how the journey of our non-recyclable waste goes hand-in-hand hand with the European plan to reach a more sustainable mobility.